Gareth Ainsworth, QPR head coach. How does that sound? Uh, yeah. Um, awesome. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit surreal still, you know. It's, uh, it was, it's been a whirlwind two days. Uh, it really has. And uh, obviously the, uh, the, the leaving the Wickham Wanderers bit was, uh, was very tough as well because of, uh, of the connection there, the, the time I've spent there. But um, this is QPR, you know, and uh, it, was, uh, it was always one of the clubs where when I always talked about something special making me, you know, forcing me away from Wickham. Um, this is pretty special to me. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've loved, loved my time here as a player and uh, hopefully I can go on and love my time as a manager as well. You've made no secret of your affection and love of QPR when you've been at the QPR and when you've not been at QPR. Why is it so special to you? Yeah, it's the club probably where I'm, I'm no, most known for playing. I was captain of the team. Um, just the, the the years we had here, you know, the promotion in 03, 04, which under Ollie, which was just fabulous. And you get these moments in your career, which just, they just resonate with you forever. And uh, still in touch with quite a few of the boys there. We had some fantastic moments, some great times. Uh, and playing at the loft as well, you know, it was just, uh, just an amazing place. You know, I, I'm lucky enough to play in some really amazing places in my career, but to have that as your home ground, um, you know, and when our block was in its, its full voice uh, and I was on the right wing there, it was, uh, it was really, really special. Um, and still today, for you know, I get, um, I get stopped daily, you know, um, just for being QPR. I think the hair still gets me recognised um, and that's nice, but um, it was just, it's just a, a brilliant time in my career and, uh, and to be back here is, is super special. And, hoping that we can uh, we can get something special going again. And like you say, you spent more than a decade at Wickham. So how difficult a decision was it? Yeah, really, really tough, really tough. Um, believe me, with a, with a team that's on the edge of the playoffs there that we've, we've achieved and overachieved with year on year. Um, and I've got an unbelievable set of guys there that run through a brick wall, you know, they, they, uh, they're totally sort of, you know, for Wickham Wanderers and totally together and, and um, we've had some amazing experiences you know playoff finals promotions cup runs um, COVID year in the championship uh, just again incredible memories at, uh, at a club that I'm never ever going to forget you know it's played the biggest part of my managerial career so far um, but I want to challenge myself and, uh, and this is certainly a challenge here you know it's, uh, it's going to be a real challenge uh, you know, the, the, uh, the club itself is, is just so special to me and, and so huge. You come here, I've seen all the, the faces I used to know, a couple I used to play with and, uh, and just uh, seeing the boys training and, and wanting some, some guidance and inspiration for the next game, you know, for me to be that guy to do that is, uh, is really special and to be trusted by the, the board here and, uh, and, you know, those above me. Um, I want to be able to pay them back in droves and, and I expect to, uh, to be giving my absolute everything for this football club, as I do for every club. But um, very tough decision to leave Wickham. You know, I don't want anyone at Wickham thinking this was an easy one. Um, people that know there's probably two clubs um, that would prize me away, QPR being one of them. I'm probably the same that we're playing on Saturday being the other one. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's the irony of football. But um, now Wickham Wanderers is... Uh, is a special place to me and I just hope they can go on and get promoted through those playoffs because those boys are fantastic there. Of course, your boyhood club, Blackburn, who we play on Saturday at Loftus Road. We'll talk about them in a moment. But in terms of QPR, what excites you about this job that you've inherited? You've had your first training session. You've got the first glimpse of meeting your squad. What excites you? Yeah, the, the challenge excites me, without a doubt. You know, I've, people who saw me play now, I never took a, <laughs> pulled out of a challenge and, and I'm not going about to pull out of this one. Um, but it's... It's also the, uh, you know, the difference now in this club, uh, you know, through the Premier League years, they've invested well. We've got a fantastic training ground, um, an up and coming building. Um, everything is, is just so professional here. The boys on the pitch today, you know, sensational. Some of the play they've got is, uh, is some of the footballers here are real good footballers, you know, and, and that excites me. Um, Getting the stadium going again, um, hoping that I can get it going the way as I did as a player, um, get them behind us uh, and, and start picking up results. But ultimately, you know, to climb this league and, uh, you know, I, I would 
I would love to be playing Wickham Wanderers next year in the Championship. That's where I want to be. Um, and if they don't make it, then I definitely want to see QPR in the Championship and seeing what we could achieve then. But first and foremost, it's about getting some points on the board um, and getting Loftus Road absolutely rocking again, you know. And and uh, I'm hoping the fans will get right behind me, right behind the team, um, because those boys will, will give everything, you know. They'll, They'll crawl off that pitch, um, and I'm sure that will be enough to get enough points on the board to, uh, you know, to make this club the, the special club it is. You've always kept an eye out on QPR's results. What have you made of what's happened this season in terms of how well we started and now the position we find ourselves in? Yeah, it's been a real tough season, you know, and, and obviously transition plays a big part in football games. It's played a huge part in, in QPR this season, you know, with the the, the managerial changes and. Uh, you know, no one could foresee uh, what happened at the start of the season. There was uh, obviously rumours of a manager going and then ended up did go in and then another one coming in after a couple of weeks and then and then things not going right for one reason or another. It happens sometimes and that's football. Um, everyone who's managers club has been a fantastic manager, including the last one. And, 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 uh, and I think that that can unsettle a place at times. It really can uh, unsettle the boys. Um, you know, I've, I've had 10 years at Wickham where people know that when they walk out on the pitch exactly what they have to do and they've known for the last probably nine of them. Um, here, it's another change with me in charge. So my aim now is to get my messages and my philosophy into the boys as quickly as possible because there's only a fine out of games left um, and we need to start start winning games. We need to hit the ground running. Um, but the, the, the huge challenge of, of this football club of managing Queen's Park Rangers um, that's what drew me here and, uh, and I am to make this a success. QPR fans, of course, remember you as a player, but they also will remember you as a caretaker manager in 2008-9. Aside from going away and managing 550 games, how else are you different to that manager, that caretaker manager? Yeah, the caretaker manager thing, I wasn't ready at all, you know, um, openly admit that, you know, and probably if I hadn't have had that stint, I would never be the manager I was today. Um, and I'd like to say at Wickham it, it's, it's been pretty successful I'm not the best manager in the world but it's gone, it's gone okay um, and I attribute some of the stuff at QPR back in the day um, it was a little bit chaotic I, I, won't, I won't lie um, and uh, a lot smaller than this place is now you know. and, uh, and I think that, that really put me in good stead to, uh, to say right you're not ready Gareth play a little bit more but I was interested then I, I really wanted to take my badges get into managing football. I think uh, leading men um, is, is one of my big strengths. You know, as skipper here, it was, it was great, but um, leading people into, into things and making them believe they can achieve the impossible is, uh, is something I really want to do. And uh, I've, I've brought an assistant manager with me, Richard Dobson. Um, he's, a, he's a fantastic coach. Um, and with the coaches here and the, and the staff here, I think we can really make a go of this. And uh, like I said, the, the, the challenge is managing Queen's Park Rangers. It's, uh, Still very surreal, but um, I can't wait to get stuck in. There's no doubt you were hugely successful during your time at Wickham. For those who say you have a set way of playing or one way of playing, what would you say to that? <laughs> if I signed back in Fenway and he came through the door, they, they could probably expect a, a little style of play. Um, I always say, you know, the, uh, you cut your cloth accordingly to what you've got. And, uh, and, and there's, there's, there's different ways to play the game, you know, but... Um, at times we, we probably had to go a little bit direct at Wickham because uh, um, we had the big man up front, but I mean that paid dividends and, and I think again what I've learned is different ways of playing, different ways to adapt in football, you know. Um, if anyone wants to watch our last 10 goals at Wickham on, uh, on the internet there, go and have a look and, uh, and tell me how many of those are, uh, are just direct. I mean, you get tagged in and I think it stays with you and then Wickham beating teams as well always send it to a... Uh, ruffle up the opposition managers who could only say, that, well, we don't do much more than, uh, than get the ball forward. Um, I'm sure some QPR fans would love this ball going forward at this team and, uh, and, and in the right areas at the right times. Um, you know, there's different ways of playing. My, my job, right foremost, is, is, to, uh, is to get points on the board because, um, you know, this club's lost too many games lately and we, we really need to stop that rot. And, uh, and I intend to do that. And then build over the years, you know. I want to. I want a team people can be proud of. I want a team that um, the fans are entertained by, 
uh, and ultimately I want, I want a team that, that's successful and, uh, and whether that's um, by getting players to the next level with us or then making the transition with another club, that would be success for this football club and uh, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to the challenge of that. Like you say, you've brought in Richard Dobson as your assistant and incredibly he used to be a QPR season ticket holder. Yeah, Dobbo, uh, Dobbo will, will admit he was, a, he was a fan back in the day, yeah. I think it was probably just before I played because he, uh, he seems to reel off all the names when uh, the Premier League years comes on and, uh, and I, th I think he was at most of those games. But uh, it's a little bit before my time, uh, which, is, uh, which is something. But yeah, he's... Uh, He's a West London boy, um, you know, uh, career cut short through injury, but um, real forged a fantastic career in coaching and uh, is one of the, if not the best coach that, that I've worked with. Uh, that's why he's coming as assistant, because uh, I think he's, uh, he's going to have some ideas and some techniques that will improve the boys. Um, and as well as the, uh, you know, the, the, the things I want to get into the boys, um, hopefully it can be a, a roaring success. Your first game as QPR manager is always going to be special. Is it extra special that it's against Blackburn, your, your boyhood club? <coughs> no, not really. It's, uh, it's a game which uh, we just need to win. You know, I always look out for you know, two or three results. It's probably going to be three now. One, one's Blackburn, one's QPR and one's Wickham. Uh, and uh, and um, I'll definitely be wanting Blackburn to get beat on Saturday, believe me. Um, it's, uh, it's going to be a tough game, without a shadow of a doubt. But... Um, yeah, the irony of football throws these things up, Blackburn lad. But uh, I did leave quite a while ago now, and uh, although the accent still remains, the, uh, the heart is, uh, is very much here at QPR, and uh, I look forward to taking them on on Saturday. And just very finally, how excited are you to see the QPR fans at Loftus Road behind you this weekend? Yeah, listen, they've always been there. You know, there was, uh, there was obviously been certain um, people saying, don't come back. We don't want to tank what you did as a player. I'm going to try and add to what I did as a player here and, uh, and make it extra special. But um, when I played here, they were nothing but absolutely brilliant. Um, and if they can get behind us during these tough times, it makes those good times so much better. So come on, you guys.